What an amazing ceremony this has been, honoring a terrific organization that inspires us all and gives us a lot of lessons. So we thought we would wrap up with Maggie, who directs the prize, and Marshall, who's our head of partnerships, advocacy, and communication, to talk about what this means for the foundation and its work and for philanthropy more generally. Maggie? You know, it's interesting. I've been asked um, about the power of communities and whether we've seen that before CAMFED. And I think we've really seen the power of communities manifested in our prize laureates throughout the history of the prize. If you go back to 1999, when AMREF Health Africa received the prize or Toast On, um, and certainly more recently, Shafco. Mm -hmm. And when you think about Kennedy Odede, who started Shafco with 20 cents, a soccer ball, and a dream to change his community. And then he did it in such a compelling way that people outside of his community wanted to come to his schools. That right there is the power of communities. Mm -hmm. And I'm just so grateful that our prize jury has seen the power of communities for over two decades mm -hmm. now. So I would love to hear from you, just reflecting on the messages we've heard today. What can philanthropy learn from, from locally led solutions? Well, well, first of all, humanitarian action is a partnership. It's a $25 billion annual effort that needs governments and needs multilateral organizations, needs a whole structure, but it also needs face-to-face -face relationships. It also needs trust, it needs care. Those things bring together communities and governments uh, and, and large funders. I think though, we have often forgotten communities in our global work. Uh, in, in the last year, philanthropy has spent a lot of time talking about how we could be closer to US organizations mm -hmm. that arise from the communities they've served, that we have not done a good enough job. That is a global question. And, and I, one of the lessons that I take from CAMFED is that all of us in philanthropy, all of us who have funds that we would like to give, should be thinking about communities globally and the work that they can do. And what have you seen work well in terms of engaging communities in the foundation's programmatic work? Well, you know, I think that has to happen at two levels, right? Uh, with the level, at the level of the grantee organization and at the level of the communities themselves. I think we have done a good job, the foundation and philanthropy in general, uh, working with grantees. Uh, it's, it's a big we, it's not us saying this has to happen, it's us listening well to what people feel are real solutions in their areas. I think we could do more uh, in terms of grantees in looking for grantees that arise out of the communities they serve. Uh, and I think the U.S. is on a good trajectory for that. But again, it's a global thing. And I think we could do better at listening to the, the communities themselves, because sometimes our, our, our listening is limited to just grantee funder. And I think CAMFED shows us that we can go much, much farther. And they themselves listen to hundreds of thousands of people, women and girls. That's right. And Marshall, I know you've been doing work towards um, increasing equity in mm -hmm. the humanitarian and development mm -hmm. sectors. And I'm curious if you mm -hmm. could speak to that work and, and how you think mm -hmm. CAMFED perhaps has lessons for us to learn in that regard. Sure, absolutely. I mean, I think the thing that CAMFED does that's so remarkable, and I think um, it's prescient of the jury to have chosen CAMFED, is the deep engagement of communities in program design um, focusing on young people, there's a youth bulge globally, yeah. focusing on girls and women, and we know that we, we won't meet any of our goals without investing in, in girls and women. And it's not just educating girls and, and women, but moving them into leadership positions. And so I think that's really an equity play at its heart, and I, I think it's exemplary the work that CAMFED is doing. One of, the, one of the things I think CAMFED does that's really important is around narrative change. And if you look at their materials, the way that they talk, they, how they bring people from community into the conversations, people are not viewed as conditions or circumstances or diseases, but actual agents of change in their own community. And I think that perception shift leads to greater engagement of communities in design and funding decisions. And that should lead to greater funding at the community level as well. So they're doing a really great and interesting thing, I think, in 
portrayal of communities that's dignified, mm. that's more accurate, actually. And I think what that also speaks to is the multiplier effect. So certainly there's the multiplier effect of education and girls' education, but I think there's also the multiplier effect in the CAMFED um, alumni model. Mm -hmm. So when you have a, a young woman who's been through the program and commits to working with at least three other girls in her community and, and funding uh, some of the work for them as well, Peter, do you think there's a lesson to be learned there in other sectors within the humanitarian and development Absolutely. Space? I mean, and you know, you're right, Maggie, in, in your comment that we've always funded organizations that have good links to communities. But I think CAMFED adds an element to that, uh, that they not only work with communities uh, on, on the things that will best benefit uh, members of the community, but they develop an association that has a, a, a life and a capacity of its own and continues to develop the skills of those who were young girls then become young women and who will become leaders in their countries. Right? And I think that is definitely an aspect that all prize laureates and indeed all of us who are listening to this conversation today can think about how we could do. I think the other thing that we can learn from CAMFED is around DEI and hiring. So if you mm -hmm. look at bringing people through a process, they're bringing alumni back in that both have education but lived experience as well. And I think we in philanthropy and, and certainly in those working towards social change are struggling with how to bring in people with lived experience, match that with education, what investments are needed mm -hmm. to make sure that, that we understand communities more deeply in our work and programming. So Maggie, Peter, top takeaway from CAMFED being chosen laureate, what can we learn? I would say the power of girls and really to look and to listen and to lift up voices uh, with diligence and urgency. I'd say communities are powerful, they're resourceful, they make tremendous partners, and we can fund them much more robustly. I would say two things. One, uh, change the way that you portray communities, not as problems to solve, but as centers for expertise, and the way you engage them as well. I think my other takeaway would be the rhetoric and the funding need to meet up. Mm. All of the discussion around girls and women empowerment, solving all of our problems, yet funding not matching, that needs to change. Mm. Fantastic. Thank you both so much for taking Pleasure. the time to reflect on today's today's ceremony and, and really congratulations again to CAMFED. Uh, we're just so thrilled, thrilled to celebrate mm. with you today.